Module 4. Inputs. Input, process, output. Almost all computers rely on input, process, output. Input is when something from the real world is entered digitally into the computer. For example, you enter a word, click a button, speak, etc. You are putting some data into the computer. This is then processed. The computer does something with it or something because of it, for example, performs a calculation. The result of this is then output in a format that we humans understand. For example, it is displayed on a screen, output through speakers, etc. Think about your favourite computer game where you control a character. You press a button to move the character, that is the input. The computer moves the character, the process. Then the result is displayed on screen, the output. Buttons. There are lots of different inputs that the micro bit can take. In this lesson, we'll look at the buttons. There are two buttons, A and B. You can make the micro bit do something when one or both of these buttons are pressed. Button press. Open the input menu and you'll see a block that says on button A, pressed. This is a container block, like on start and forever. Add this block and then whenever button A is pressed, this block will be called and the blocks you put inside it will run. You can change the button by clicking on the down arrow and select B or A plus B, which is both buttons together. Once the container is on the coding area, you can add blocks inside it. Here where button A is pressed, the LEDs will output the letter A.